hello everyone welcome to my channel today i'm gonna give you a little bit introduction introduction about this series on programming in java uh, a little bit about myself as i'm a computer science graduate and i have over 15 years of experience so let's see if i can teach you something over here so the first thing is why java programming well Java is a cross-platform and uh, you can run Java code on any platform like Windows, Unix, Linux, Mac and uh, uh, there are a lot of devices today that they are running Java uh, for example your phone and some of the cars some of the embedded devices they are all running on Java so it's better to learn this language and it is used in a lot of academ academic so probably moving forward in your college or university uh, they will teach you java so it's i will try to teach as much as possible to prepare you for that course so let's get started the first thing we need is to set up our environment where we gonna code uh, we're going to code in Java. So for that, you will need, uh, uh, first of all, uh, operating system. In this case, I have Windows operating system. You could have Linux or you could have Mac. It's up to you. Later on, I will teach you how to install on those other operating system as well. So let's move forward with windows operating system now the second thing is you need to have an ide like what is an ide ide stand for integrated development environment it's a collection of tools where you uh, code where you compile and uh, a lot of stuff so for the purpose of this course we are going to use called eclipse so let me type uh, in google here eclipse Actually, that's been Eclipse IDE. It will take you to www.eclipse.org. Yeah, click over here. And this is uh, Eclipse IDE. So now you're going to click on download. It will take you to this page. Over here, you can how this get eclipse id 2022-12 so it will uh, take you over here and i will show you like where it's installing and for what kind of environment so right now i'm using windows and that's what i need so i will go ahead now it's install uh, downloading the package in the meantime you have this page so you can uh, close this page when this is downloaded okay it's downloading right now all right so now it's downloaded uh, click here maybe you you have chrome or firefox running but at the end you will have eclipse in jre window so this will include the JRE, which is a software that requires to run your Java code. Uh, you will be, uh, Once you click on this installer, you will be given a couple of options there. So Eclipse is not only used for Java. You could do C, C++, Python, and other development in there. But for the sake of this course, we are just going to use the first option here, which is Eclipse IDE for Java and now it will ask you like okay where do you want me to put java 17 vm and what, what is your installation folder uh you could you could choose different but i uh, stick with default it's uh, up to you so i'm just gonna click install here this will come up with uh, some agreement uh, you can go over and read or you just uh, go to the end and click on accept now So now it's going to install Eclipse.
Now, meanwhile, while it is installing, uh, I just want to make a request to you guys that uh, please uh, subscribe to my channel. More and more, these kind of videos are coming up. Uh, I will teach other programming languages and computer science courses. So, if you guys are enrolling in a college or university and you need some kind of a guidance, uh, put it in a comment. Uh, let me know what what kind of courses do you like uh, probably in the future I will go ahead and make those courses and also please uh, subscribe and like this uh, I really need your support because I'm starting up and uh, trust me these courses is gonna help you in your future studies and uh, I'm wishing you all the best so let's see how much installation is still going on <clears throat> and please in the comment you, you can share your like okay what what level are you are you are a student or you are a self learner and well, what are you most interested in in computer science you see all the courses are online right now you really don't need to go to a, a educational institute to learn those courses it's all free available but still you need some guidance like uh, uh, which course should i pick since i went through all this process so i'll be guiding you in picking up uh, a lot of those courses and maybe we will go together this so yeah right now this is installed and we can launch so that's your eclipse id here So the first time when you start Eclipse, uh, it will ask you like, uh, where do you want to put your workspaces? So workspaces is the place where it keeps all the project and all the stuff here. So right now I'm just going to choose the default, but you can choose like my document or somewhere, whatever you like. And uh, you can click there. So it's not going to keep asking you every time you uh, open Eclipse. So let's launch it. okay guys congratulations you have installed eclipse ide and you are way closer to java development here so now let me maximize this window here uh it takes you to this page asking for donation let's go back to the eclipse ide uh one thing you want to make sure that you need to pin this to the taskbar so you don't need to find it uh, where it's installed i will pin it here so the first time you uh, open the eclipse id it will show up this kind of window uh, i know there are some tutorials here some samples and uh, if you are interested to know more about it then you can go learn it by yourself or we can just close this welcome screen and now the screen changes to something like that so let me go a little bit uh, a, a little bit like uh, from package explorer here where all the action is done so first of all uh, we just need to create a hello world application so it's going to be a very simple application where you just uh, where the computer is just say hello to you and this is standard for all kind of languages either c java other programming languages so let's uh, start this you got three options import project create a project or create a java project so i'm gonna go ahead and click create a project here and now you will be given this kind of a window so you can choose the project name uh, the, the standard way is to first character big then a one sentence for the second sentence you make the character big again and that is called a camel case so usually we name project like that so this is project is called hello world now down there it's going to be using your default eclipse workspace but if you want to choose other uh, you want to save that project somewhere else then you can click that and you can browse and save it there but i'm going to use the default 
So here it's asking like uh, use the execution environment. Right now there are a lot of options. So we're gonna go with Java SE 17. So these are like a Java uh, runtimes, right? And we're just gonna follow that option. We just wanna. I just don't wanna make it more complicated. So let's proceed with this and uh, click next here. Add this window of uh, later on I will teach you how to add libraries and stuff and I will tell you what those are so right now you just click finish here so once you finish you see the hello world project appears on your package explorer window you click the small arrow it goes down and then there is your source folder you click on the source folder and that's it if you click this double click this then it will open a module info so we don't need this uh, we're just gonna right click and let's see if I can delete this either you right click delete or you click and press delete so I'm just gonna make delete here it's gonna ask are you sure you say yes now source is empty so what i need is to click source uh, right click source and i can say new class here so in java everything start with the class and i will explain what a class is in my later uh, later videos but right now just understand that what what you need uh, here is a new class so when you click source when you click new you have to press new class and here again you're gonna put down the name of the class is hello world hello world is the project hello world is the class and now you uh, there are some automatic coding for you so i will click here under this public static void main this will include that code for you so make sure you click this checkbox and then press finish so boom it will create a default package and you will have a class in that again we will talk about more what the packages are but right now there is a hello world java hello world dot java so now uh, every class start with the class name like uh, over here remember i said every java code uh, need to have a class and uh, i will explain in a later video what class is but for right now just need to make sure that this code is here and uh, we will explain it in more details later on so there is a to do here this auto generated method stub and that's where you need to put your first code and the first code is we need to print hello world so we start with uh, capital s system then dot as soon as you put dot you will see that this help window pops up it's, it it is called intellisense so what this window is telling you that i can help you with uh, some of the functionality there right so the first thing we need system second thing out okay then press dot again and then you type in print l n so this will print a message with a new line and there is your uh where as soon as you put the bracket i will have an end bracket and put in quotation hello world exclamation right at the end of your statement which is an executable code you type in a semicolon that is necessarily so this is your first line of code you are telling uh, you are telling the 
you are telling Java that please print hello world for me. Uh, this is how you do it. So system dot out dot print ln, and now you save that. So the code is saved, right? Now you see this small run hello world Java. You press this button and boom there is the console that's the hello world right okay let's type some more stuff hello or system dot out dot print l n okay soon as you press enter you can come here and you said welcome to java programming and save it again control s you saved now run it again and you see your next line welcome to java programming so congratulations that's your first hello world call you set up uh, an eclipse uh, ide the java uh, runtime is included that's all you need for now and uh, we will be uh, learning more about java programming in the later videos please uh, like this video and uh, please give me some comments if you what do you love about it and what else do you need to see and also please subscribe to it so thank you for watching bye